Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Rebecca and apparently I decided I don't have enough spreads for January in my witch's bullet journal. Up above in the cards there is two videos. One is my video where I walked you through my January setup. The other is when I did my January goals video. And I was sitting and thinking as I was starting to get into planning and get more done that I don't, I was missing some things or there were some things that I want to do more of. And I feel like the only way to do them is to add monthly spreads. Monthly spreads work really well for me. And a, and a big part of why that is, is because like I said, one of my bookmarks, I said in a previous video, one of my bookmarks sits here and every single night when I do my planning, I flip through them in succession. So if I want to do something, I have to flip through it in order, in succession. Um, and then I end wherever my daily is. So I have three spreads I want to add. Two of them have the same layout, but are different content and then one is just different. Um, the first one I want to add is I've determined I want to do more tarot study because I, I have a few decks that I really don't feel like I know very well and that are important to me that I want to learn how to use or I want to learn how like how I like to use them and the only way to learn them is to use them more and one of my favorite ways to get to know decks is by pulling a card every single day which I already do from a deck and then at the end of the day reflecting on how the card how the card's message resonates and relates to my life for that day. And so, but I, I don't like, I don't like forcing, I don't like forcing one page a day per day just to get all the details I want because like I've tried putting this kind of uh, tarot reflection thing I do um, on the header of my dailies but I don't like that because the dailies are what made the tarot system click for me. I did not bring my eraser. I'll have to go get that in a second. I've, I tried for years and years and years, I tried planners and all sorts of things and none of them ever worked until I tried the bullet journal. And even that didn't work the first few times until I saw the video that explained to me about leaving the dailies open. The dailies as a running to-do list that at the end of the day, I... I then close it off and set up my next daily. That is the bread and butter. That is the thing that has helped me so much in my tarot, um, or not my tarot, in my bullet journal journey. So that is the part that I really need to keep. Um, and so doing anything that makes my dailies feel forced, uh, will not be a good idea for me. So I was like, I need something to, I really want something to be able to like study my decks. I almost messed that up. And I want to be able to journal it 
and I'm really just not feeling um, what's really happening with me in my journaling is I'm going so far into this right now pause for erasing there we go um really what's happening in my journals right now is ever since I got that file of facts videos up in the cards if you're curious and want to check it out I kind of threw a giant wrench in all my things and I got the file of facts and then I tried having everything all in one and then I started to feel bad because I was using my notebook fast and blah blah bullshit blah oh right there we go so and then I went back to using multiple different journals but it was never the same I had had it all in one journal and there was a huge part of me that loved it and it ruined it ruined all the rest so now what I am basically doing is throwing everything into one space focusing on my one book my bullet journal and my bullet journal of shadows because I do that too and if and when at some point I get an idea to be like, hmm, I think I should make this separately, which, spoiler alert, I've had some of those ideas, um, then I'll try those. Uh, Let's just go with an outer line or drop shadow. Let's just do a drop shadow. So So I wanted a place in this to reflect on my daily draw. So I've got that added here. This one is going to be the exact same layout, and um, and this doesn't need, it's not for days of the week. I, I made the squares bigger, or the rectangles bigger, um, so that way I'd have more room to write. So I'm just going to shorthand note what the card is, and then write a little bit um, about it at the end of the day. And this is the exact same type of layout, but for signs and symbols. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly get that set up. And then I will uh, check back in with you guys in just a minute. So I tell you, this style of video, this I could get used to. So if you are enjoying this, please make sure to like this video and oops, and give it a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know you're enjoying this style because it is not even 2.30 in the afternoon on a Wednesday and I'm quietly sitting by myself in my room journaling. And that's my idea of a good time. It's just really the voiceovers that I just like, oh, no. So let me know if you like this. All right, so there we have, this is my signs and symbols. I've set this up because, so for those who speak astrology, perhaps it will be interesting for you to know, my Mars is in Gemini in the 12th house. And I get a ton of ideas. And they fly through my head super fast, and then I forget them all. So, 
and I'm trying to I'm trying to find my path really um find my spirituality find the stuff that's really mine as opposed to the stuff I see other people doing that I think is mine like the journaling is very clearly mine but I want other stuff and I'm trying to find it and so it occurred to me if I'm using this to track my daily tarot reflections I can use the same layout as a calendar similar to this this is a calendar I use where every time something comes up that's medical related that's why I call it my medical I write it down if I take medication then I write it down if I um, get hurt I write that down if my son gets hurt I write that down I write it down so I can refer to it and remember it. I figured it could be really cool and useful to do a thing of that type of style thing. That was a horrible sentence. I thought it could be really useful to do that style of a thing for signs and symbols where I have this calendar space, again, more room to write. And throughout the month, if I have any moments where I'm like, wow, I'm really noticing Persephone coming up a lot, or, oh, I saw a crow, that feels important, or this card is stalking the shit out of me. Those kinds of signs and symbols of higher messaging, I guess you could call it, I can write those down, and then maybe I can actually do something about it later and act on it. And then the last thing I have here to set up is my habit tracker. I You might have noticed if you've been here before that I forgot um, it when I set up January. And at first I thought I'll just leave it be. It's no big deal. And then and then as I was doing these other spreads I was like you know I really want to be able I want to be able to see what I'm doing. I want to... I do a lot of... I seem functional as a human being on the outside. But on the inside, my life is very dysfunctional. Um, like, I seem like a normal, functioning human being. I have my planner. I do all the things, except I don't. And I'm really trying to work on improving um, and doing more of the things. I'm, I'm trying to work on my follow through, basically. And so I thought, and especially my goals, I I'm so excited about this idea for my goals. I really want it to actually be a thing. I really want to actually do it. And so I thought to make a big habit tracker where I have all my usual stuff because I like putting things on my daily, but then I like seeing, checking things off. I'm really getting into this whole, oh, this is checked off. This feels really good. I've, I've done this. I've checked it off. So I've made a very big tracker. It includes all the stuff minus a couple from my last tracker. And I've added things for my goals. And I'm just going to, one of the big things I'm going to do is I'm going to really commit myself to um, filling it out honestly.
Okay. This is a bit messy. <laughs> um, so I wrote them all out. I don't... I have my daily category, my self-category, cleaning, Cameron stuff, work, question mark. I don't really know what to call that stuff. And then I have the things related to my goals. I'm not going to put much else because this is going to get super color. Oh, colorful. But I will add just a few stars. Basically, the what I'm doing here is I'm trying to get my shit together. I was saying that I'm really, like, I'm, outwardly I seem like I'm functional, but I, I don't do well. For example, I zombie out on tech a lot, and it's not healthy, and it's not fair to my kid, and I'm really working on getting better, or trying to. Um, so I, I thought I would give my life, um, and give the things that are important to me the energy that they deserve. I am going to put, and this line here is to remind me, I am going to put the lines to separate them by week because I really like seeing how I do in a week, but, um, this is kind of an awkward setup and space to do that. So I'm going to do that off camera, but there you have it. So I've got my, I've, we've added my daily tarot reflections where I will be recording my daily card and reflecting on it. I will be doing this with a new deck every month. And I think I'm going to push myself to pick a new deck um, that I haven't worked with as much. Like, I'm not going to use my This Might Hurt Tarot or my Star Seeker Tarot. I really know those decks well. Um, so I can get to know a deck. So I think I'll pick one based on my... Feeling for the month, my card of the month, something like that, which would make me want to use the Star Seeker for for January, because my card is the Star, and I might still change my mind on that. But so the idea is, each month I'll use a different deck, so that way I'll get to know different decks through in my collection better. I have my signs and symbols calendar where I can just note down. Things that are like, oh, hey, this this is happening a lot. You know, the signs and symbols. And, and then I have my big ass tracker. So that is it now for my January set up. <sighs> Did you enjoy this video? Have you ever done this? Have you ever set up and, been, and then later been like, oh, I need to add more stuff? Let me know in the comments down below because I'd love to hear about it. How are you liking... The new content. I really just love the feedback um, that's going on. I'm going to be doing more filming still. I still have to film my end of the year planner stack and I want this one to go up before the end of the year. So my 2021 deck collection video might get pushed back. Um, a little bit probably will um so yeah anyways please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and while you are down in that area please don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit the bell notification so you can come back i am really really loving being back in the swing of things i'm having so much fun and i can't wait to and I hope to chat with you more in the comments. And I hope you are having a wonderful, wonderful whatever part of your day. Stay safe and healthy as best you can. And if not, I just wish you lots and lots of love. Alright, bye.